WhatsApp is a leading instant messaging online chat service that has over 2 billion users worldwide. It's also an ideal communication platform for small businesses to connect and engage with their customers. You can now actually connect WhatsApp chat to your website so that your website visitors can chat directly with you through your website. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time visiting, thanks for joining me. Now, today I'm going to share how you can simply add WhatsApp chat to your WordPress website so that you can enable a live chat feature directly on your WordPress website. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this WhatsApp chat tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and add WhatsApp chat to your WordPress website. Okay, so to simply add WhatsApp chat to your WordPress website so that your website visitors can get in touch with you via WhatsApp, we first need to simply navigate over to plugins over on the left hand side once you've logged into the back end of your WordPress website. Then come down and click on add new. Then simply navigate up to search plugins and type in join chat. And down here, that's going to generate the Join Chat plugin. As you can see, this is a popular plugin with over 500,000 active installations. Now, it's best practice to back up your WordPress website before you install any plugin onto your website. This is because some themes and plugins can clash and cause your website to go down. And if you're unsure how to back up your WordPress website, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of backing up your WordPress website. Okay, so once you've backed up your WordPress website, simply navigate up to Install Now. Then simply click Activate. Then navigate over to the left hand side and locate Join Chat. And first, under General, what we want to do is navigate over to Telephone and add our phone number, our WhatsApp phone number. You can also go ahead and test your number. Now, ideally, you want to have WhatsApp Business set up rather than just the normal WhatsApp. If you currently do not have WhatsApp Business set up, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get started with WhatsApp Business and make the most of this powerful business version of WhatsApp. Then come down and add a predefined message that the user will send to you. And I'm happy with this predefined text. Hi, can I please know more about your services? Now you can always come back here and change this at any time under join chat and under general. Now below message we have image. This is where we can choose the icon that we want to display on our website pages. I'm happy with this image, this default image. You can go ahead and select a new image if you like. Then below image we have tool tip. This is a short text shown next to this button. We have need help. I'm happy with this default text. Again, you can change this if you like. Then if we navigate down to position on the screen, we can choose where we want to position this WhatsApp logo, WhatsApp icon button. I want this to display on the right hand side. You can also add a button delay. We have three seconds selected at the moment. So this WhatsApp button will appear three seconds after the page is opened. Then we can come down and we have these other options. For example, mobile only, only display the button on mobile devices or open WhatsApp web directly on desktop. I'm gonna leave these unticked for now. And then we have the option to add a QR code to display the QR code for our WhatsApp number that people can scan using their phone. Again, all of these settings are completely up to you and you can always come back to join chat and customize these later on. Then come down to chat window. Down here, what we wanna do is go ahead and add a call to action. We can also use these placeholders. This will basically simulate a chat before opening WhatsApp. You can promote anything that you like in here. You can add your name, talk about your offers or more. I'm gonna keep this simple and leave this default message here. Then down here, we can add the button text. At the moment, by default, we have open chat. I'm happy with this. This is the text to open the chat on the chat window button. Then come down and choose a theme color. This is the WhatsApp theme color, so I'm happy with this default color. 
We can also come down and choose dark mode if we like. We can also choose a header. I'm gonna come down and select WhatsApp logo. Then what we wanna do is come down to chat delay and add zero. And then simply click save changes. Then navigate up to visibility. And this is where we can choose which pages we want this WhatsApp chat button to appear. At the moment we have global, this means all our website pages. However, what we can do is turn this on and then select the particular pages that we want this WhatsApp chat button to appear. However, ideally you want the WhatsApp chat button to appear on every page. Then come down and click on save changes. And just like that, you've set up your WhatsApp button. So let's go ahead and test out our WhatsApp chat on our website. And as you can see, I've arrived on my website. Now, after a few seconds, your WhatsApp chat will appear. Now, if I click on this WhatsApp chat, this interface will appear. Then all I need to do is click on open chat. And that's going to take the website visitor here where they can go ahead and click continue to chat to chat with me via WhatsApp. If that website visitor currently does not have WhatsApp installed, then they can go ahead and download WhatsApp. And this is how the WhatsApp chat button will appear on mobile devices if website visitors are viewing your website from mobile. Now, if we navigate back to our website, and if we navigate down to this WhatsApp button, and if you click on the WhatsApp button, and it takes you directly to the WhatsApp interface, and it doesn't generate this interface here, then there's a small trick that you can do within the back end in order to enable this pop-up. Currently, I think it's a bug in the system, but I'll show you how to do that. What you wanna do is head back to the back end of your WhatsApp plugin, and under general, what you wanna do is navigate down to call to action and you want to remove this emoji. So go ahead and remove that emoji and then come down and click on save changes and then refresh your website page and check that the chat is working properly. And that should solve that slight issue. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you add WhatsApp chat to your WordPress website. This is using the free WhatsApp plugin called Join Chat. And there we have it guys, that is it for this WhatsApp chat and WordPress tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about adding WhatsApp chat to your WordPress website, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.